Three minutes? I can do. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Franklin Foysia. I am visiting brethren. When I was a young Ugovale adult, three things should have happened to me. I should have been in a hospital, jail, or dead. But by God's grace and mercy, he has given me another chance to do right and good. Yet, I am still a work in progress. When I understood why I was a born sinner, I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life. I asked Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. And now, I am a child of God, a believer of, by faith in Christ alone. And I am truly thankful, and it comforts my heart to know that my sister-in-law, Liz, is a child of God as well, a believer by faith in Christ alone. Let us pray. Father God, we pray to you. We give you all praise. We worship you, and we honor you. In Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. My name is Stacy Mafolo O'Brien. I am Junior's uh, younger sister. That's my youngest brother talking. Just want to share a few words for the family. You know, when we encounter times like these, when we are forced, when we are faced with the sting of death of a loved one, when we witness our close relatives mourning this loss, we send messages of condolences and feel the sympathy for those involved through prayers and running errands for them, getting them some food, just being there for them. Yes, everything and anything to lend a shoulder for them, to lean on, but not everyone feels the same way. To me, the joy of fellowship that we can carry out in our family is why we respond in such a way. Like when we lose the loved ones, the joy that we shared in our family, growing up as siblings, holds us together. So that without our parents here with us, the joy that we share is continued in situations as such. Because it is what our Lord taught us. Liz, you are a blessing to us. I miss you dearly. I will always remember you and praise you. You will always be in my heart. You are my sister, not a sister-in-law, but my sister. You are always there for me, in time of me, always. I never had to call you twice. You were there right beside me. I will miss you dearly. Your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, and of all my loving brethren, we will always keep them in our hearts. And God, please watch over all of us, through all our family. We love you, and you mean a lot to us. Never forget your roots. Without your family, you're nothing. I'm sorry. Friends, you can find friends anytime, but family is forever. Mm -hmm. Never forget that. Amen. Amen.